Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf, and it's Five Thrift Store Friday. Yes, it's Five Thrift Store Friday, the happiest day of the week. And oh, man, do I have an action-packed episode for you guys today, man. We're actually going to start off with a little evening before Five Thrift Store Friday. I found something on Facebook Marketplace that I have been wanting for a while and got an incredible deal on it. In the box, only 50 bucks. So super, super excited for it. So we're gonna make a little late night trip. So I think it was around 9.30, 10 o'clock-ish or something like that, Thursday night when I picked this up. So I'll show you exactly what that is and then we'll do some show and tell. Afterwards, we're gonna go hit up the Goodwill bins, then we're gonna hit up some thrift stores and we're gonna end up meeting up with my friend Teresa who gave me an excellent deal on some 1980s action figures. So man, I just, the whole episode is just jam packed full of pure joy and happiness. So like, I hope you're excited. If you are, hit the like button and then let's roll out. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. All right, guys, I'm about two miles out from my exit and uh, it's 9.30 at night. That's dedication, baby. Been wanting one of these origins for a while, so getting a good deal on it. Can't wait to show it to you. Oh, okay. oh okay. yeah, are you gonna go to the North Dallas Toy Show this well, I probably won't weekend? Go I actually did the shows every month for oh. about two and a half years. Oh, really? I just got to the point now where I've kind of created enough of the network to you know, kind of move stuff along. So. Move it all through yeah. Facebook and stuff like this that. This stuff, I'm just, I'm just trying to clear out some stuff because I'm actually getting into doing more like diorama pieces and stuff like that. Oh, are you creating them yourself? Yeah. Are you really? Yeah. So I'm sitting up, you know, I've been kind of playing with it for about two years now, practicing different techniques, just kind of yeah. Do you making have a myself happy with it. And, with the dioramas, do you have a specific like line that you're doing, like He-Man, or you just do uh, it for whatever? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll do commissions for whatever. Um, it, really, the easiest ones to produce is like Star Wars stuff. Okay. Because there's not as much like brickwork and stuff like that. You're mm -hmm. mostly just kind of adding details, as, like as far as like you know, vents and yeah. poses and pipes and you know stuff like that. There's yeah. Not as much carving and you know, it's more. All right, gang, I have secured the bag. Very, very excited about this, man. Oh my God, this is freaking awesome. He's on that jazz. He's on the jazz, man. He's on the jazz. So the guy I picked this up from was super cool. His name is Sean Matlock. He goes by Keys. And he was telling me that he actually builds dioramas. It's something that he's gotten into lately. I think he said like he's been building them like kind of here and there for a while, but he's kind of focusing on that right now. Uh, I think... I think he gave me his card and I can't find it anywhere. So I did want to give him a shout out. So Keys, if you're watching the video, feel free to leave a comment below and let people know how they get in contact with you if they want that if they want you to build them a diorama because he showed me some of the dioramas that he has built and they are really awesome. He's very very good at it. So, hey, let's do a little show and tell with this Castle Grayskull. Now, I'm not going to bust it out of the box right now. Still making a decision on that, whether I'm going to take it out or leave it in the box, because I love the box just looks fantastic. Um, but, uh, you know, I guess I could always take it out and put it on display and still have the box intact. But for right now, let's take a look at this box because the artwork is just absolutely amazing. Wow. Oh, man, it just looks so freaking Cool. It's like reliving your childhood all over again when I got my Castle Grey Skull for the first time in like 1982. I think it was like Christmas 82. Oh man, this thing looks absolutely amazing. The artwork is just so fantastic on it. I think the box, I think he said like it's a little faded. He had two boxes, um, two of these castles in box. One, he sold already, uh, but when I contacted him, he was like, I do have another one. He goes, the box isn't in the best shape. So it kind of looks like it might be a little faded in the front, but it still looks amazing. And I mean, just the way the, the colors pop on it, man, it's just, and check out He-Man and Skeletor 
down here. We got Evil Lynn over there in the corner. And then we got Man at Arms and Beast Man and Manny Faces and Tila and Trap Jaw and Merman. Oh, we got Zodak up here in the tower. Just, this is, I don't know. I am just so excited to be adding this to my collection. Over here, um, I found, I don't know if you guys saw my YouTube short, but I got the Snake Mountain for $21 at Target uh, about a month and a half, maybe two months ago. It was on clearance. So now I've got both of them. And uh, here's some of my He-Man animated series figures up here. Let's kind of zoom in here a little bit. There we go. Check those guys out. They look so cool. Man, it was like Christmas Eve. It's like getting, you know, it's like getting that one gift on Christmas Eve before the big show. You know what I mean? Like it just kind of gets you fired up and gets you all excited for what's coming. And uh, we got some more stuff. We got some more stuff coming in this episode. We're going to go hit up the Goody Wheel bins. And like I said, I'm going to go meet up with my friend Teresa and hit up a few thrift stores in between. So let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go hit up these Goody Wheel bins. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? And, uh, check out this little Polly Pocket playset. Yeah, I just found a turtle. It's not vintage, but it's a turtle. Yeah, this thing's kind of cool. I've never seen one of these before. Not uh, this particular version of these stretchy guys. It's got a hard plastic head. Oh, nice. Check that out. I've believe that's vintage and here's a friendly neighborhood spider-man with no hand look it's ruby roo well, that's kind of a cool monster truck so this lincoln log set is from 2000 so it's like quarter of a century old already i just opened it up and it looks like everything's there i uh just not sure if i'm gonna get it or not Check out this like crystal ball looking thing. This is pretty awesome. It actually lights up. So I just found these 2013 TMNT nunchucks and they're selling for 20 bucks on eBay. Oh, I just found some more TMNT. He's a cool figure. Man, it is just a TMNT kind of day. Here's some more Ninja Turtle nunchucks. Those ones look cool. Dang, I gotta get these just for the Kmart sticker. How awesome is that? Wow, it was just kind of a TMNT kind of day at the bin. So we got some vintage TMNT. We got some more modern stuff. We got some Lincoln Logs too. So let's do a little show and tell. So check out my haul from the bin. So we got this modern TMNT figure. His name is Dog Pound. I didn't notice at the bins, but he's missing his tail. So I don't know if it was sitting in the bin when I picked him up. If I would have uh, paid closer attention, I probably would have looked around a little bit and see if I could find it in there. So I got him, I got these nunchucks, which I thought were really cool. I actually got two sets of those. So I picked those up and then check this thing out. Holy cow, is this awesome. This is just so awesome, man. Like it, it's actually kind of, it's back heavy. So I had to put this thing here, this, uh, it's like a hold your phone. I had to put it there to keep him from toppling over because with this opened up, he wants to tip backwards, which kind of sucks a little bit, but check all this stuff out. Does this actually, I think this flips up, right? Oh yeah, check that out. It's got, it's like a little hut. And then uh, we've got some nunchucks there. Oh look, we got more nunchucks. And then we got this dagger. I forget what those weapons are called. Um, but we got that. Got these two like prison cages. This thing here probably drops down. Let's see if we can pull this out. Yeah, Let's see, I can't, can't do it with one hand. That's, you know, that's when you need a GoPro. So we got this little rope right here, which is pretty cool. And, uh, and then we got the little layer itself down in here. So, man, this thing is awesome. I have a more modern one of these, but these vintage ones are like super, super cool. It's like, uh, it's like Mighty Max, but for turtles. So I ended up picking up these Christmas window decals. And the whole reason I got them was for the Kmart tag that was on it. 
but the tag came off. It was like up here. So I don't know where it's at. It could be in the car. It could be in the bag that I put everything in. I don't have to look around for it. Find it and then maybe glue it back on. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a bummer. It's the whole reason I got it. I mean, they're kind of fun too, you know, and they're nostalgic and they're probably from like the 80s or 90s, but I got it for the Kmart tag. So I got to find it. And then last, but certainly not least, I picked up this set of Lincoln Logs Frontier Fort. So I think these were from like 2001 or 2003 or something like that. So all the rest of the logs are inside the bin over there, but I pulled some of this stuff out. It did come with two little figures. It came with like Colonel Custer and uh, Chief Sitting Bull or something like that. So I thought these things were pretty cool. I've actually seen these figures before in thrift stores. I didn't realize that they actually went to this Lincoln log set, but he's got a little canoe and a teepee. So I should have some fun putting this stuff together. We are off to a great start. We got a Castle Grayskull. We got some vintage TMNT. We got some Lincoln Logs. Like, things are looking good right now. So let's go hit up a thrift store and see what else we can find. All right, let's see if they put anything on the shelves. Some tools, a big sword. Oh, look at these horses. Their, uh, their bag game seems pretty weak. Not a whole lot going on over here. Oh, check that out. Isn't that cool? Give me one for that. Four bucks. That's pretty neat. Now check this dude out. He's pretty cool, but like his fingers are all melted together. And uh, they look like they're, yeah, like they're about to break off. That sucks. I think I'm just gonna leave him here. I looked him up, he's worth a little money, but I'm gonna pass on him. Check this thing out. How cool is this? I should have probably got that Frankenstein. Watching back on the, re-watching the video, I was like, yeah, he's pretty cool. I didn't like the fact that his fingers were all melted together, though. So, anyway, but check this out. I actually got him to work. Brains, 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 brains. Let's see, what else did he say? I thought he said something else. Try him again here. I guess that's all he says. Just brains. He's just hungry for brains. Brains, brains, brains. All right, guys. So we got this thing is so cool. Oh my gosh. Like, I freaking love it. All right. Let's go hit up another store. All right, gang. Here we are at another Goody Will. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? So we had the bins produce a little something something the goodwill right next to the bins produced a little something something let's see if we can find a little something something in here well, there's a lot of stuff here but i don't know if there's anything for us there usually isn't oh, this is kind of a cool cool submarine Looks old. Oops. Some sort of Boba Fett. I don't know what that goes to. Looks like Diego. Trooper. Well, I think we're about to get busted. 
Isn't this uh, Tyrone from the Backyardigans? I think. Is this Wolverine? No. Yeah, yeah, I guess it is. I didn't think it was for a second, but it is. Oh, it's Boots. Oh, check out this dude. Yeah, he's kind of cool. Oh, we got a Pittsburgh Pirates trash can. That's awesome. Well, these trash cans are selling for about $30. They want $4.99 for this one. Oh, man, look at this dinosaur. For all you youngsters out there in TV land, that's what a big screen TV used to look like. It's not flat at all, is it? Man, we just got busted. Our first bust of the day. So the Pittsburgh Pirates trash can was pretty cool. Maybe I should have got that. I don't know. I've bought a few trash cans over the years. Like I bought a trash can that looks like a basketball hoop and stuff like that. And I don't even use it. So it just probably would have been something that would have laid around. And, you know, it's not something I really want to like ship as far as trying to resell it or flip it or something like that. So, all right, guys, let's go hit up old Thrifty Pants Thrift Giant and see what kind of goodies they got. What's this guy? Oh, maybe some sort of Fortnite. Need a, need a Looks like we got some sort of like a Robo Sapien or something. Oh, look at all these horses in here. Dang. Got some dinos. Looks like a Batman. Looks like a couple of Batman, actually. There's another one. Oh, look, it's King Shark. Oh, looky, looky. It's our boy Buzz. What do we got here? Looks like a, whoops, sorry. <laughs> we got a bunch of starting lineup. We want $4 a pop for them. Oh, check out this one. Mike Richter. It's kind of a cool one, the Ghoulie. Five dollars for him. Oh, here's another one. What's his name? John Van Beesbrock. This dude just sold on eBay for ten bucks with free shipping. That means whoever sold it probably made like a dollar on it. Actually, probably lost money considering they bought this thing in the first place. Man, check out this dino. How colorful is he? Dang. It's kind of neat. Well, he's actually made by the Jim Henson Company. He's from 2012, and he recently sold for $30. That's crazy. He's pretty colorful, though. I think I'm going to get him. Same with this dude. 2011, Jim Henson, selling for about 20 to 25 bucks. These guys are pretty cool, but I'm just trying to decide whether or not I need these in my life, you know? I mean, I could probably flip them. It'd be $10, and then I could probably get 45 out of them, I would imagine, for both of them. Well, I'm gonna end up leaving these guys here. Um, the line is actually kind of long, and this guy's got like a million clothes in his basket, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna just forget about it. This out. That looks like it's fun. Okay, so I got a question for y'all. So obviously I passed on the starting lineup guys. They're just over the years, they just have not been worth anything. Like they you can buy them for the same price that you could have bought them for back in the 90s when they first came out. With the exception of like Michael Jordan and I think maybe a few others or something like that. But, but I watched a video recently where someone was saying that the starting lineup figures, there's starting to be a pretty big interest in them again. And the value, the prices are going up. I don't know. Like I... I haven't personally seen it or experienced it, but have you guys noticed if the starting lineup, the value of these figures is going up? 
Uh, if so, I should have probably picked them up, you know, but uh, they're, they're, they're still cool. They're just, uh, I'm not really like a, not a huge sports guy. I do like me some Pittsburgh Steelers football, but like, I'm not a big sports guy in general. So, all right. The other thing that I passed up on uh, just because there was a huge line at Thrift Giant were the Jim Henson dinosaurs. I really wish I would have stayed to pick those up, but I just, I did not want to wait. It, it was probably going to be a 15 to 20 minute wait, and I just did not want to do that. So I left those on the shelves. I have since been back to the store and they are gone. So somebody picked them up and got a good score on those. So, all right, guys, let's go hit up Thrift Shitty, baby. Okie dokie, hokey pokies. Let's see if there's anything cool on these shelves. I ain't seeing much at the moment. Look at this thing. Max tow truck. It's got some big old tires on it. Family Guy DVDs, seasons one and two. Here's a Batmobile. Let's see, is there a Batman inside? Nope. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. Well, as usual, there's nothing in there. These VR headsets are kind of cool, but I don't think I know too much about that to make a decision on those. Look at this thing. It says Made in America. You don't see that too often anymore. Check it out. It takes like one of those big old batteries. Dang. Busted at Thrift Shitty. It's actually called Thrift City, but my friend Keith called it Thrift Shitty one day, and I just thought it was funny, and I... That's what I call it all the time now. But the uh, the old vintage flashlight was pretty cool. I was like, I like stuff like that. I like stuff like, you know, stuff from the 80s. Like I bought a vacuum cleaner because it was uh, a dirt devil, like a handheld one. I bought it, uh, one, because I needed it. But number two, uh, I it was from like 1986 is what the box said. So I bought it just because it was from the 80s. I love all things 80s because 80s toys rock. That's why all things 80s rock, really. All right, guys, before we go meet up with Teresa, we got one more thrift store here that I want to go hit up first. So let's go do that, and then we'll go meet up with Teresa afterwards. All right, well, we got a bunch of boxes. Is there anything good in here? Hmm. A lot of green army men. We got an LOL surprise party cruiser. There's another box. Looks like maybe some transformers in the bottom there. Maybe quite a few transformers. And we got a cappy. Looks like a ton of vintage Mickey D toys. I don't know what all they are though. But there's a bunch in there, that's for sure. Oh my God, they want 60 bucks for that box. No way. I ain't spending that kind of money. Here's another box with a bunch of Mickey D's in it. Some Powerpuff Girls. Oh, check out this dude. I saw one of him not too long ago. I like him because this is made out of rubber and this is like a hard plastic. So lots of big boxes at Thrift Giant. Lots of big boxes, very expensive boxes and boxes that were just filled with junk. Nothing I was interested in, but I did want to stop at this Thrift Giant on the way to Teresa's because it's on the way. And uh, just in case there was something there, because you just never know, you know what I mean? So we're going to go meet up with Teresa next. I picked up some vintage Masters of the Universe figures from her. She gave me an awesome deal. She sent me a text message about it. I said, how much do you want for them? She said, make me an offer. I said, how about 20 bucks? Because she said she wanted to sell them cheap. And uh, she said, perfect. So uh, I'm going to buy these figures for $20 off of her. But she was at the Goody Wheel and she found a 1980s mail away figure. Wait until you see which one it is. And uh, she found a mail away figure. And I think she said she got it for like $2 or something like that. 
that, something crazy. And uh, oh my gosh, it's, it's like worth over $100. It's like probably like a $200 figure or something like that. Like it's pretty freaking sweet. So let's go check it out. All right, gang, I'm at Teresa's house right now. So I'm about to pick up these Masters of the Universe. This is these vintage Motu. I actually have all these figures, but she gave me a really good deal on it. So I couldn't pass it up. All right, I'm gonna go snag these and then we'll do a little show and tell later. So, Teresa was just telling me, which Goodwill was it at? Plano. Plano, okay. Walmart 75. Oh, the one off of like by 15th Street and 75? Mm -hmm. Wow, you found it there, wow. So this was a mail away Indiana Jones figure. Let's see what it looks like. Which one is it? I don't even know. It's sealed up. Oh yes, the mail, yes. This is Belloc, yeah, so, wow. That's so cool that you found that. And the funny thing is there was a older action figure that was probably in the package, but someone had torn it and got the figure out and left mm. the packaging, yeah. but this was right next to it. Wow. They didn't take this. They didn't take it, no. yeah. Was it just in the box like that? And how did you know to like... I just opened it up and looked just, at it and I'm uh, like, <laughs> wow yeah. that's crazy all right gang we have secured the bag let's head back to the bunker absolutely amazing holy cow Teresa! oh my gosh she scored big you know you know what's crazy too that little box i if that were in the toy bin i would have never thought to open that box and look you live and you learn, you know what I mean? And like, you know, that's knowledge I have now going forward that like, if I see boxes like that, open them up because who knows what kind of goodies are inside. So real happy for you, Teresa. Between Teresa and Thrifter Sean, like they find all the best stuff. I wish I could score like they do because they score big and score big often. So, all right, guys, let's do a little show and tell. Okay, so here's what I got from Teresa for 20 bucks. So I got this Clawful figure. I got Skeletor, which uh, he's got all of his accessories. So, I mean, that figure alone is like at least a $35, $40 figure with all of his accessories. So like I said, she gave me a good deal on it. Uh, now his legs are super, super loose. Same with Clawful. I'm gonna need to replace those. And I do know how to replace them. I've replaced quite a few. They are uh, not easy to replace. Uh, they can be a little frustrating at times trying to get those bands through the pelvis area, through the uh, through the crotch, and then shoved into the legs. Like there's these big round like ball things that like go into like a ball and so like a like a socket in the leg. And it can be pretty difficult at times, but um, but I do know how to replace them and make them all nice and tight again. So I'm gonna need to do that with these guys because their legs are super, super loose. We got a bunch of Joe accessories, a bunch of missiles. I don't know, I'm assuming these are, I think these are seats to something. So maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below what seats those are, what vehicle it goes to. But um, here's Zor's porch, oh, and his porch, his pouch. Uh, but it is, uh, both of them are missing the bottom piece. So I'm gonna need to maybe look for that on eBay or if somebody has an extra one, let me know. Maybe we can do a trade or something. And then we've got some more missiles and then we've got these gun thingies. I don't know, I, I guess they're guns. I don't know, they kind of look like guns. I don't know whose accessories those are. I don't know if those are He-Man accessories or what. So they are, you know, Masters of the Universe. Masters of the Universe is just He-Man to me. As a kid, I never called it Masters of the Universe. It was always just He-Man. He-Man's on, you know? That's how, uh, that's how I looked at it. But I have a Zor, but mine doesn't have the accessory here. So I think that is awesome. So like I said, she gave me a really awesome deal on it for 20 bucks. So Teresa, if you're watching, Thank you very, very much. All right, gang, that's all I got for you for this five thrift store Friday. I hope you had an awesome time. I hope you had fun. If you did do me a favor, smash the like button. And if you want to watch more videos just like this, then check out this next video.